Well, excitement is mounting across the triangle for the start of the Sweet 16. And with UNC, NC State, and Duke all still dancing, there could be plenty of fans putting money on their favorite teams to win. CBS 17's Harrison Grubb is digging deeper into what sports betting looks like in North Carolina so far. On the eve of the Sweet 16, sports betting is already winning big in North Carolina. They've been in our top 10, and that's pretty good since, you know, we've earned 28 jurisdictions. The State Lottery Commission says nearly $200 million in wagers were placed in the first week of legalization. Fans won more than $141 million, leaving a gross revenue close to $43 million, raking in more than $7 million in tax revenue. North Carolina makes almost $8 million in the first week, and we have two more solid weeks of March Madness to go, so it looks like it's going to be a good first month. And with UNC, NC State, and Duke all still dancing, those numbers should keep growing. I can tell you that North North Carolina, NC State, Duke have all been bet pretty heavily throughout the tournament, not only in their games, but in the future book. But the way we bet on college sports could change in the future. NCAA President Charlie Baker is calling to eliminate prop bets on college athletes. These wagers allow people to put money on individual stat lines. North Carolina is one of just over a dozen states allowing college props. And while some lawmakers say there are no plans to adjust that in the upcoming session, industry experts expect to change in the future. There is going to be a lot of pressure to to, to monitor North Carolina, especially because they're the newest state, they're the, the only state that's launching sports betting right now. They made the choice to allow college player prop bets. The Lottery Commission projects sports fans will place around $600 million in bets in the first month. In Raleigh, Harrison Grubb, CBS 17 News.